Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. Creating epic looking super slow mo footage is very simple. And as with all camera work, it's all about light. But what else is it about? Light. It's about light. Because we're capturing more frames per second than usual, it means the light is hitting the sensor for less time, which means you need more of it. In this case, more is more. A very immediate solution is just go outside. Natural light is fantastic for shooting high speed, and we shoot most of our videos outdoors. So we just happen to have some giant confetti cannons. Why wouldn't we? Yeah. To be fair, why don't we try a straight towards the lens slow-mo shot? Safety first, then. Safety first. Sun's over there, so we'll get a bit of light on me. OK, I'll stand here. Is this a safe distance? I'm wearing goggles, it's fine. <laughs> You're going on auto? I'm going on auto, yeah. yeah I'm ready. Oh. oh, God, this is scary. Go, go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Super slow motion detected. There you go. Yeah, a little bit of, oh, I'll stop that there. Perfect. Oh, yeah, you can see the fact that it's light in the subject. Oh. OK, let's see how this looks. Ooh. Oh, color. Nailed oh. it. Maybe blinking. <laughs> <laughs> Successful. Excellent work. Shooting outdoors is often the easiest, but you can do it indoors. I recommend still trying to use natural light, like a, a nice bright window, let some sun in, because light bulbs and lamps, they're not actually that bright when it comes to slow-mo. It's true. To demonstrate this, I've set up some lovely mouse traps on the table. Uh, I wonder what's going to happen. A little, little bit of a chain reaction? I think so. I'm going to come around the front to get it and get a lovely angle on it. OK, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> So to summarise, as long as you have enough light, your video will look great. Hopefully you enjoyed that little series of tips and tricks. Now get out there and get slow mowing. Is slow mowing a word? Yeah. It is, yeah.